There is absolutely no denying that the American Design AR platform developed by the late great Eugene Stoner remains one of the best small arms of all time. While gun control advocates may hate it, shooters love it. At the same, it is easy to appreciate the simplicity and ruggedness of the AK-47. Let's take a look at some of the best new all-American guns Kalashnikov USA has in store for 2023. Number 7. KR-103 $1,200 The KR-103 is truly East meets West, featuring Kalashnikov's time-tested design and original Russian specifications while being constructed of parts made entirely in the U.S. and assembled by American workers. It will accept all AKM and AK-74 furniture and accessories. It features a forged trunnion, forged carrier, side optic rail, chrome-lined barrel, cleaning rod, and U.S.-made 7.62mm steel-reinforced polymer mag that promises to be every bit as reliable as the Russian mags produced at the famous Izhmash or Tula arsenals in Russia. The authenticity and design of the Russian AK-103 comes in KR-103 with the reliability of Kalashnikov USA. 100% made in the U.S., the KR-103 is a gas-operated semi-auto rifle with a 16.33-inch chrome-line barrel and a forged 5.5mm trunnion. It is chambered in 762x39mm and features on a 30-round mag. The KR-103 comes with a cleaning rod, side optic rail, and a forged carrier. The KR-103 is athletically designed to satisfy all American AK enthusiasts. It is one of the most dependable rifles on the market for any occasion. It is the only semi-auto civilian legal version of the Russian AK-103. The innovative and reliable technology of Kalashnikov USA makes it much lighter, robust, and advanced than the earlier AKs, proudly designed and made in the USA. The KR-103 uses a renowned 762x39mm cartridges that contribute to the reliability of the AK rifles. It comes with a chrome-lined barrel that makes it highly accurate, durable, and lasts a lifetime. Chrome-lined also protects the barrel from rusting and wear and tear. The KR-103 is compatible with a wide range of AKM and AK-74 rifle accessories and is highly customizable. The KR-103 comes with one 30-round polymer mag and a polymer-fixed buttstock. It incorporates many upgrades introduced in the Kalashnikov AK-74, like the side optic rails and improved muzzle brake. The muzzle brake tames the recoil to a level of 556. It also has forged trunnion and carrier for an increased barrel life and accuracy. KUSA ensures you get the best hands-on experience with the authenticity of the original AK with a made-in-the-US rifle. It comes with the exact specifications of the Russian-made AK rifle. Still, it uses the parts and materials made in the US and assembled by American workers after undergoing aggressive quality control. The engineering, research, and development that created the KR-103 has helped us make it even more reliable, lighter, and robust. KR-103 brings the same reliability as the AK-47 or the historic AKM. It performs exceptionally in every environment without any difficulties because of its durable and robust polymer finish. With this dependable weapon by your side, you can always stay protected and have a smooth hand at shooting the renowned AKs. Kalashnikov US has gone to great lengths to ensure authenticity with the original Russian specifications while using U.S.-made parts and materials assembled by American workers in the USA. Number 6. KR-101 TBA The Kalashnikov USA KR-101 is based off the AK-101 platform and accepts Bulgarian-style 5.56 mags. Further features include a side-folding synthetic stock, 16.5-inch barrel, AK-74-style brake, side optics rail, and polymer handguard. Number 5. KR-74M TBA this is going to be a 5.45 by 39 mm gun, also with an AC Unity mag equipped with a hammer-forged barrel. This also happens to have a muzzle brake suppressor on it. The standard muzzle brake is what you're going to get. A folding stock also makes an appearance, and this lineup is going to be called the K5 Series as per KUSA representatives on the SHOT Show 2023. Number 4. KR-104 $1400 Designed for the export in the mid-1990s, the Russian AK-100 series took the proven AK-74M and modified its manufacturing process to facilitate greater interchangeability of parts and new configurations. One of the most beloved designs from this family is the AK-104, a carbine version chambered for 7.62 by 39 mm with a 12.25 inch barrel. Both compact and ballistically competent, many AK lovers consider this to be one of the best Kalashnikov variants ever made. Americans who wished to own one of these in the past were mostly limited to custom-built guns, 
but they've just become far more obtainable with KUSA's release of the KR-104 SBR. Without getting lost in the weeds of debating AK build quality, Kalashnikov USA is generally considered to be the best domestic producer of AK-type firearms. Compared to an original AK-104, the only real differences between the two are their markings and the original's select fire capabilities. As a factory SBR, the KR-104 even includes the proper side folding stock out of the box. The only potential downside of this is that as an NFA item, one must file and receive approval on an ATF Form 4 before taking it home with you. With the recent addition of Form 4 to the eForm system, however, the waiting times will hopefully soon be similar to that of Form 1s. The KR-104 features a forged bolt carrier and front trunnion, and its barrel is hammer-forged and chrome-lined as well. It accepts standard AKM pattern pistol grips and handguards, and it includes a cleaning rod and side optic rail. Additionally, each rifle includes 130-round polymer KUSA mag that was also modeled after the original Russian pattern. The KR-104 SBR has an MSRP of $1,399 and offers an excellent balance between size and performance with its short barrel being just long enough to not compromise 7.62 by 39 mm ballistic efficacy. The SBR version is available now, but many are hoping that KUSA will eventually release a pistol version as well for those who don't want to deal with the NFA. Others still are waiting for the eventual release of KUSA's AK-105 clone, which would be the same as the KR-104, only chambered for 5.45 by 39 mm. Number 3. KP-9 when we test-fired the Kalashnikov KP-9 for the first time, we were beyond impressed. As someone who has trained with, qualified with, and carried a 9mm sub-mash gun, we immediately noticed that the KP-9 was incredibly fast firing for a semi-auto firearm. This became evident when we quickly burned through three 35-round mags that were loaded with Aguila 9mm 147-grain FMJ ammo. Best yet, the KP-9 also proved to be incredibly accurate, so much so that we were able to effectively engage very small targets at a distance of some 30 yards from a standing unsupported position. All it took to achieve these hits was to use the right stance, the right sight alignment, and the proper trigger control. This was easy to accomplish because the KP-9 has excellent ergonomics, is relatively lightweight, is extremely well balanced, has excellent sights, and has a superb trigger. We should also mention that the KP-9 30-round polymer mags are very easy to load this is quite a compliment because we've encountered other mags that held fewer rounds of ammunition that were a lot more difficult to load. Once we knew that the Kalashnikov KP-9 was good to go in the pistol-only form, we ordered an SB Tactical Stabilizing Brace for this outstanding firearm. Installing the SB Tactical Stabilizing Brace is achieved by removing a pin on the rear of the receiver. We must admit that for some time, we were not a fan of firearms that are legally designated as a pistol that are larger in overall dimension than their traditional pistols that can be carried concealed. We changed our way of thinking once we had the opportunity to field test several firearms that fall into this category, and we found that we were able to effectively engage targets at CQB distances and beyond, to 30, 50, and 70 yards. While conducting these field tests, we also found that installing an SB tactical brace does increase the capabilities of these types of firearms. At the very least, the SB tactical brace does exactly what it was designed to do, and is effective in stabilizing your shooting position. This is especially the case when you engage targets beyond close quarters battle distances. The Kalashnikov KP-9 is ideally suited to be used for personal protection, home defense, recreational shooting, and as a backpack survival firearm. The compact and lightweight nature of the KP-9 also makes this firearm ideally suited to be used in confined spaces, including inside a building, in a vehicle, and on board a vessel. Installing a side-folding SB Tactical Stabilizing Brace on the KP-9 makes this firearm an even more capable performer. If you are interested in owning a flawlessly reliable, super compact, fairly lightweight, incredibly well-made, and superbly accurate 9mm pistol designated firearm, we highly recommend the Made in USA Kalashnikov KP-9. We also highly recommend SB Tactical Stabilizing Braces. And while we are devouring these American-made beauties, the reliability of which many still question, let's not forget the OG who started the Kalashnikov trend altogether. Obviously, we're talking about the ITS Russian-made counterparts. So let's revisit our recent favorites from across the seas. Number 2. AM-17 and AMB-17 This pair of advanced rifles have been designed for combat in the city. 
While the AM-17 and AMB-17 rifles are very similar, they have one important difference, their caliber. The AM-17 uses traditional 545 by 39 mm Kalashnikov AK-47 cartridges. Meanwhile, AMB-17 is equipped with 9 by 39 mm subsonic cartridges and a silent firing system, so it's perfect for secret operations at night. The relatively new rifles are created for troops operating in densely populated areas. As a result, the weapons are ultralight and compact. The AM-17 rifle, with the gun stock attached, is only 50 centimeters long and weighs just 2.5 kg without the mag, compared with the AK-74M rifle, which weighs almost 4 kg. These features allow soldiers to easily alight armored vehicles and operate guns in confined spaces, a notable feature of earlier Soviet and Russian firearms. The two receivers, fastened on a hinge, are fixed into position. The weapon can be broken into two parts to clean and maintain the components of the receiver. This new design feature, which has been used in foreign arms for many years, reduces the weight and cost of the rifle and greatly simplifies the manufacturing process. The upper part of the receiver, which withstands most of the pressure exerted when the weapon is fired, is made of high-strength steel. In contrast, the lower part of the receiver, which holds the mag, pistol grip, gun stock, etc., is made of high-impact polymer that looks like plastic. You can apply all kinds of modern tactical add-ons thanks to the Picatinny rail mounted on top, which can hold collimators for any worldwide manufacturer. The weapon is also fitted with a silencer. Number 1 AK-308, $1,500 This rifle was the most anticipated premiere of the aforementioned year and was first announced days before the Army 2018 military exhibition in late August. Interestingly, this is not an assault rifle designed for the Russian military. They don't use 308 win rounds, but for foreign armies that are familiar with this type of weapons and ammo. The gun is primarily intended for African and Asian weapon markets to create competition for NATO-made rifles. Visually, the new AK-308 is reminiscent of the AK-12 and AK-15 rifles adopted by the Russian military. They're part of the next generation Ratnik II battle gear. It also has a Picatinny rail on top and bottom of the rifle, so you can install anything you want like scopes, grips, red dots, flashlights, etc. What's more, it boasts a reworked pistol grip as well as an adjustable side folding stock. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.